Bridget, it is good to see you. Eivor, what has become of Tevder? Did you find your scarf? Uh, thank you. I've found Tevder alive and safe. I need to speak to Kun. Bridget, I found an abandoned bird nest in the rafters. I'm going to take it home to Mother. If you gaddle it, then the Babans will do it in all, I'll lay a god. It's you again! The Sowen Butcher! The Sowen Butcher? Never mind. Gwenid, I'm looking for Kunan. Have you seen him? He's busy with the festival and shooed me away to Bridget. Would you like to see some magic I've been practicing? Can you show me to Kunan if I say yes? Just one trick, and then I can show you around. Um. Okay, so reach into this pouch. And the number of stones you're holding is... three. Wonderful magic, Gwen. But now I really need to find Kunan. Church ladies! They don't like the festival, but Mama says they come anyway to cluck cluck like hens. Do you want to see another trick? I can pull an acorn from your ear. I need to find Kunan. It's important. Why is that woman wearing a striped mask? That... Have you seen Elderman Kunan? Oh, that unholy visage startled me. It's past sundown, so Kunan has retired to the church for prayer. I have business with him. Even if you have business with him, it will have to wait until the morning. Locked himself in. Only Geva has the keys. Would Geva let me in? She's been instructed not to. Not that I can see her following a task so simple. Girl'd forget her own head if it weren't attached. Thank you for your help. I will speak with Kunan tomorrow. The key is held by someone named Geva. Must find her. Where's Coonan? Mary Lubed! Come dance with me! Have you seen Coonan? <laughs> I'm looking for Coonan. Right! Right. Actually, if you're headed that way, this crate needs to be delivered to him. Just tell Geva I sent you. Of course. Um, what does Geva look like? Badger mask, same as me. Should come running when she sees you. Best of luck! Geva is waiting for this delivery to the church. That's my way in. Right. Gotta keep my eyes peeled. Ah! The crate! Yes, yes, come this way. Good you came by. Sarah was supposed to drop it off ages ago. Snake tongue. Hey, Vor. <laughs> have you have you been enjoying the festivities? We're done with this shadow play. Tefter's safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the Wicker Man gladly, but I will not leave Glowerchester in the hands of the Christian Zealot. Then what? Leave your people without a leader? In an angry church ready with holy fire? They won't be without a leader. 
Modron will sit upon the Horn's throne. Are you telling me that Modron lied? Ha! <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Modron was the architect of Tavdor's murder, Eivor. All to take control of Gloucestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. Tevder framed by flames and burning. Everything we created together. Everything? You and Mother? Then... Gwyneth? A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. You and the witch? This was the plan. To make me dance your merry tune, so you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired Modron. So when she asked me to take the part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenev, but a united Gloucestershire. One that Tevder would stamp out. This is where you failed, Kunin. Tevder is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tevder? The boy has the head of a mule. You taught him reason? Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and churning us alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Modron will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to stay her blade. I have much to attend to here, otherwise I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You are already a dead man. I will not make your people suffer for your actions. Thank you, Eivor. Your mercy will be rewarded, I'm sure. Best not to draw attention here.
chanting. The chanting is faint, but I recognize Mordron's voice. like a trap. and blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Modron, stay your blade, or die at my hand. 
I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods! Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your gods to sway the mind of a man? Tefter is no longer the seller you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nordnir spin their fatal threats, but without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. The seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. I spared Kunan. Say your goodbyes, and keep out of my sight, witch. Mother? What is this? Is this... Are we in hell? No. We are in England. How are you feeling? I feel well. <coughs> but it's a little fragrant in here, is it not? You will live to be Elderman yet, Tefter. Despite the many attempts on your life. Attempts? Untimely death? God's blood! You're safe, and the ceremony will proceed in Gloucester. Your wounds should heal by the next moon, if you get some rest. Then you have my thanks, Mother Modron. Lovely woman. Utterly terrifying, though. Let's return with haste. This cave is a place of nightmares. It's good to see a face I trust. Even your frightful mug. 
I thought this could be your shared saga, but it is time to leave. We have spent not but a drink together. Worry not, Eivor. You and I have many tales to tell yet. And our names ring out clear and with honor. Yeah, a tale. A tale of Gloucester. Beautiful land, full of damned fools. Ha! I will drink to that. You have my thanks. Anything for you, old friend. Then let us say our farewells to this wicker king. And then be on our way home. Yes. Ranvi will be eager to meet Richard. Richard and Gunnar have already gone ahead. I should join them. <laughs> we first met at Simkin's Wicker Man Ascension. I was besotted with you at a glance. So long ago. Some poetic symmetry after twenty years' prosperity. Grand. Please don't do it! We can burn something else! Someone else! Peace, dear heart. I will join the dirt that grows the trees and the barley, my body feeding the gods, worms, and even you. So I will be here. And a long, long time from now, when you're old and wrinkled like an apple, <laughs> you will see me again. Father, I thought I could be ready. It is time. Then this is yours. This is your path, Tifter. No thorns and briars could keep you from it. And you, Eivor, friend of Gloucestershire, you have lived up to your reputation. I know you owe me less than nothing, but please, take care of them. I take no pleasure in the suffering of others. You would know this if you had given me a chance. Twenty years I have been your elderman. Now these old bones are ready for my last duty. I have worked alongside you, clearing fields, brewing drink, births, and deaths. All growing and learning. The wicker man is ready, O king. Your altar awaits. I am honored to be your Harvest King. With this flame set, may our crops be plentiful and our winters brief. Despite it all, he has the ending he prayed for. Straight to the mouths of hungry gods. Eivor, the honor is yours. Praise the Harvest King! Please! <coughs> Please! 
accept this offering! <laughs> Take off me! My flesh! And bone! And flesh! Now it seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Gloucestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes. For all our pains. Uber Ragnarsson has come. He claims to have some business with you. Uber Ragnarsson, you are a long way from your king's side. Eivor. Yes, a long stroll through the hills and fields of Mercia. All so I could thank you. Thank me? For sending my brother to his just reward. In spite of the harm he caused you and everyone around you, I could not keep him in line in this life. But I have no doubt the old father will put him to good use in the next. A darkness followed your brother. One I'm not sure he understood. But as you say, he is now where he belongs. He is. And as a show of my thanks, I came to offer you a gift. A token of my respect. Thank you. Put it to good use, Wolf Kist. And may we meet again soon. On a battlefield, if the fates are kind. Swanborough, you made it. I did. I should send a letter to Honwell to give him the news. Oh, you know how he frets over me. He misses you, that is certain. But as Elderman, he cannot afford to let his grief overpower him. I pray he fares well. I adore the lad, but I worry the burden will be too great. He should be fine. He has the heart of a leader. Now come, settle in and enjoy your new home.
Petra. Eivor, how are you? I thought we might spend some time together. That would be lovely. I was just about to get in some archery practice, if you'd like to join me. I could use the practice. Lead on. Remember, you can only shoot a target once. Ready? Go! See that one, Petra? See that one, Petra? If this was a deer, we would be feasting well tonight. Ha! Bullseye! I dare you to do better. And I believe the victory goes to me. Good game. That was fun. Next time, could we light the arrows afire or shoot blindfolded? I'm satisfied with ordinary arrows. Less chance for disaster. Fair enough. I look forward to it. I wonder how Hafton fares now that he sits on the throne. Moira may know where Hafton has gone. Moira, is something wrong? Weep for Northumbria. Is it Hafton? Has he gotten worse? His heart is broken. He's a mere shadow of himself. With Faravid lost and his brothers away, he wallows in paranoia and sadness. I could speak with him. Where is he now? Wandering the fields of Pitteringa with his beloved Bayonton. I'll find him. Thank you, Moira. Pitteringa is in the east. Just follow the road to Scarborough. No, silence is a corpse in its grave. Stand up, Hafton. I'm taking you back to Jorvik. <laughs> up, my lord. You're a king. You're not allowed to sulk. Men bled and died to sit you on that throne. So go, sit. My brother, Ivar. Did he die well? He died fighting. You slew my brother. I never said a word. You kept this from me! It was no secret. Up and you. Did he not... Leave me! I will not. I've come to see you safely home. Now get up. I... I mislaid my hammer. I think Beonton ran off with it, but I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I'm not well, Eivor. I'll find your hammer, and then you'll come with me. I was on my way to Scarborough. If you find my hammer, bring it to me there. The lighthouse. Afton awaits. This hammer is not meant to be thrown, Hafton. Remember that next time. <laughs> My father, Ragnar, he gifted this to me. Took it off a Finnish chief. Still warm with blood when he handed it to me. I had 14 winters. 
Ragnar Lothbrok was a great king. A Finnish arrow killed my mother. A shield maiden she was. As fierce as a wolf swallowing the sun. My father swore to kill the men who took her from us. And he did. Fourteen against one. But that was years ago in the east. And this is the west, where my father lies dead. A pile of bones in a pit of snakes. And here we are, still telling stories of his life and deeds. How did my brother die? With his hand on his axe, awaiting the maidens of the battle slain. Now he drinks at our father's side, awaiting the war at the end of days. Beonton, my boy! <laughs> Come here, boy! A dog always forgives, but he needs you home. All of Northumbria does. last thing for me. Light the beacon for all to see and let it burn. Eivor. Petra, you have a look that could quiet the thunder. Is something wrong? No, no, everything's fine. Although I'm... Well, it's not easy. Go ahead. I'm listening. Well, I really enjoyed the time we've spent together, Eivor. More than enjoyed. What I'm trying to say here is that I... I like you, Eivor, and I'd like to go further with you. I thought we might, you know, be together. I feel the same way, Petra. Gods, I was worried you would never feel the same. I mean, you're always away living adventures and... But I always return home. What are you waiting for? Kiss me. Come over here. I have changed my mind. Randri, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, in this settlement, in this life. I cannot help you with your life just now, but... I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grandbridge or somewhere nearby.
or a change of pace. That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Ranvi, take a break. Let us make for Grandebridgeshire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not stretch your legs and fill your lungs? I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. We won't take the longship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. <laughs> I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We will need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandebridgeshire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? <laughs> swimming? I don't know. Uh, are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional yeah. methods. really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen. Hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. <laughs> you killed him! Die! Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the Summer Army retreated when Grantobridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. And here we are. Welcome to Grantebridge. We should make our way to the longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London. And a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here too. Well, 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 is that it? It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah, good memory. Good to see you again. This is Randvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Randvi. Eivor seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vodder. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits having kept nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. The bandits are camped on the river, he said. East of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Randvi. 
Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from the table for a day and already you are lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magnion clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you are teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf-kissed Iron-Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. There, the bandit camp. All right, stay close and do as I do. Rude and look sternly at the horizon? By all means. Deliver Magni his works. Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a... <laughs> or we could have a drink to celebrate our victory. At home. Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse, and if your thirst remains, we'll look around. <laughs> Magni, you solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank the gods he is safe. And thank you, Eivor. And your friend Randy, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Eivor, over here. Look at this. Oh, someone is... What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Randy, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right, let us drink. Beautiful. Go! 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 Go!
going to start. Rodney's done you better. There, you see? Should not have tried to outdrink me, Randri. It cannot be done. Hmm, strange. I see your lips moving so rapidly, yet all I hear is, thank you, Randvi. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ah, oh, Randvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Already. Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy, return at... Thank you for everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travels. I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Randvi, slayer of bandits and breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Sunova described this tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. Ha! I was wondering something. You and Soma. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close, very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskuna as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Randvi. If you must. Look there! That must be the tower. Take the bridge. Go! Just as beautiful as Suniva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on! Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. You climb well for one who folds maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. Look at this. A 
stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway, how I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but now I've watched you scale a tower in furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger. Free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh no, I am... I am sorry. I sh shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is... I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. I am honored by your feelings, Randvi. But I value you as a friend. I hope that does not disappoint. It is my highest praise. Of course. Thank you. I do apologize. You need feel no shame. This stays between us. And at worst, we have had a beautiful day. As friends and kindred spirits. More than enough for me. I would like to stay here, if it is all the same to you. I would like that. Andre? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. 